Hey Dev Nation's book devs, Perez Dev here. I hope you're having a great day. Today we are looking at Built to Serve by Evan Carmichael. Maybe you've heard of Evan Carmichael through YouTube, Instagram, or some of his other books, and you're looking at Built to Serve, you're not sure what to expect out of the book, what value can you really get? So today I wanna to share with you three reasons why I think you should read Built to Serve by Evan Carmichael. Find your purpose and become the leader you were born to be. And by the way, if you've already read Built to Serve by Evan Carmichael, please feel free to comment down below some of your favorite quotes, key takeaways, key ideas that you took from the book. I always love and appreciate hearing from the community. Reason number one you should read Built to Serve by Evan Carmichael is because he helps you figure out your who. And your who is your core value. And as he quotes in the book, having clarity on your core value is important because, and I quote, having clarity over who you are is your source of power. End quote. Throughout the book, he has several different exercises set up to really help you get rid of all the other clutter, all the other noise, and double down on what exactly your core value is so you can have more clarity with each action and each decision that you make. Eventually, once you've found your core value, then he also has exercises to help you develop what's called your credo. And this is how you define your overarching value. It's other words that make up this specific core value. Because even though some people might have quote unquote the same core value, this key word that you use, it can have a slightly different definition compared to someone else. So he has your credo, which makes up your overarching core value and adds some further depth and definition to your key core value. Reason number two you should read Built to Serve by Evan Carmichael is because he helps you figure out your purpose. This is also known as your why. And I think he takes a slightly different approach where he tells you your purpose straight off the bat. Your purpose, and I quote, your purpose is to help other people who are currently facing the same struggle you went through. You're built to serve and help people. And that is the key message he has on your purpose and your why. And so he has several different exercises on figuring out your purpose. Yes, he specifies that your purpose is serving others, but how exactly are you going to serve others? And these are the exercises he has you go through to gain clarity on really developing and understanding that self-awareness of your own story. What struggles and you know what trials and tribulations and obstacles have you already gone through that can now be of service to others around you, others in your community, or other people going through exactly the thing you went through 1, 5, 10, 20 years ago. Whatever it is, mentally, psychologically, physically, you can be of value and of service to others. And so the several different examples and messages he has and shares, I think are really important and really insightful in being of value to others. So again, reason number two is because he helps you find your purpose or your why. And the last reason, reason number three of why I think you should rebuild to serve is because he helps you tell your story. Throughout the book, Evan Carmichael shares his own trials and tribulations of being an entrepreneur, all the different obstacles he had to face growing up while trying to build out his businesses. And it was very tough for him. And so he's willing to be vulnerable throughout his book, share his stories. And I think that helps add some clarity and self-awareness for the reader in terms of being open to really discussing and pinpointing your own story and then being able to communicate and tell that story to others because Evan Carmichael leads by by example by really sharing his own stories and his own vulnerabilities throughout the book and again yes he has several different examples to help you really pinpoint how you can go about telling your story and how you can go about serving other people once you've gained clarity on your own story and all the obstacles you already faced to review the three key reasons i think you should read built to serve by evan carmichael is because he helps you figure out your who which is your core value your why, which is your purpose in serving others, as well as how to really effectively communicate and tell your own story so you can be of value to others in your community, others around you, others who have gone through exactly the things you have already gone through, and so you can make it a little easier and a little less suffering in the world and make it a little more enjoyable throughout the process. Overall, Built to Serve by Evan Carmichael. Absolutely love and enjoy his book and love the work that Evan Carmichael does. Feel free to check him out on YouTube, Instagram, whatever you like. But overall, a really great book. I would highly recommend it for anybody who is looking to gain clarity and self-awareness in their own life so they can be of more value to others. And those are the three reasons why I think you should be Built to Serve by Evan Carmichael. If you enjoyed today's video or gained value, please make sure to like and follow. Remember, today's a great day to have a great day. So have a great day and thanks for watching.